This is the final design project for ME325 at Iowa State University. Our group members are as follows. Curtis Spence, Eric Havern, James Rendell. All are seniors in mechanical engineering. The project requirements are to design a transmission for a plaster saw to be used by doctors in underdeveloped nations to remove cast from the patients. The specific restraints for our design are the motor driving the gearbox is rotating at 10,000 RPM. Step the 10,000 RPMs from the motor down to 2,000 RPMs at the output shaft, giving us a 5 to 1 gear ratio. The gear center distance must not exceed 3 inches. The gearbox housing must be able to interface with a hand grip. Made to withstand 100 hours of operation, must have a 99.99% overall reliability. Gears and bearings need to be protected from plaster dust. We would like to use as many standard parts as possible, so if a part does need to be replaced, it will be easier to obtain than a custom made part. We will be giving information on gear selection, shafts, keyways, bearings, housing, and bolts used in our design. Eric will tell us about gearing we chose first. We chose helical gears with a helix angle of 45 degrees for this application due to the high input speed of 10,000 RPM. These gears have a diametral pitch of 20 and a 14 and a half degree pressure angle. The overall gear ratio is 5 to 1 with 12 teeth on the pinion and 60 teeth on the gear. The minimum number of teeth on the pinion to avoid interference at this ratio was 11.03. The maximum number of teeth on the mating gear is infinite because our pinion can mesh with a rack. The contact ratio between our two gears is 1.44. The face width is 0 0.38 inches. The pinion hub is 0.375 inches in diameter and the gear hub is 0.75 inches in diameter. The center distance between the two gears is 1.8 inches. These gears transfer all of the torque to the shaft through keyways. The torque on the pinion is 0.93 inch pounds and the torque on the gear is 4.65 inch pounds. The load transmitted between the gears is 3.1 pounds. The gears we selected for this application are in excess of the design requirements. The factor of safety in bending is about 31 and the factor of safety in pinning is about 8.7. We selected these gears because they are fairly standard size and they would be cheaper than custom gears in lower numbers. In order to keep our design simple, we use two shafts without steps so that minimal machining will be necessary. The input shaft running from the motor to the pinion gear is 3 8 inch diameter. The shaft is a critical diameter at the edge of the gear of 0 0.05 inches. This is below our diameter chosen. The total length is 3 inches. The deflection at the gear is 7.73 even negative 6 inches. The slope at the bearing closest to the motor is negative 9.07 even negative 4 degrees. And the slope at the other bearing is 1.18 even negative 3 degrees. The shaft contains a 0.21 inch wide key made of aluminum. The shear stress on the key under the torque applied from the gear is 155.4 psi. The shear stress required to shear the key will ensure the failure of the key before causing damage to the gear teeth or shafts. The output shaft running to the blade of the saw is 3 quarters inch diameter and 5 inches in total length. The deflection at the gear is 2.23 even negative 7 inches. The slope at the bearing furthest from the blade is 43.25 e to negative 4 degrees and the slope at the other bearing is 28 e to negative 4 degrees. Both shafts are galvanized 1020 steel to prevent rusting and minimize cost. This shaft also has a key used to transmit torque between the gear and the shaft. The critical diameter for the shaft is also at the edge of the gear with a value of 0 0.095 inches making our shaft well within parameters. The shaft also has a 1 inch deep quarter inch diameter threaded hole at the end of the shaft to allow for easy installation of, cutting, of the cutting blade. Due to the shafts demonstrating such strength, the hollowing out of each was considered, but the precision machining needed increased costs and the keyways used for the gearing would only allow for a small amount of material removed. It is most cost effective to leave the shaft solid. The bearings we selected are angular contact bearings from SKF. We chose to use angular contact bearings instead of tapered roller bearings because our thrust loads from the gears are very minimal, only about 3.1 pounds. The angular contact bearings will easily be able to handle these thrust loads and high speeds. The bearings on the large shaft have an inside diameter of 0.75 inches and an outside diameter of 1.85 inches. These are rated for 19,000 RPM. 
these bearings C10 rating is 10.68. The bearings on the small shaft have an inside diameter of 0.375 inches and an outside diameter of 1.26 inches. These are rated for 30,000 revolutions per minute. These bearings C10 rating is 18.27. The housing is split into two parts, allowing for easy access to gearing and easy assembly. It is made of ABS plastic to reduce weight and cost. The maximum dimensions on the outside of the housing are 4.3 inches in length and 1.79 inches in width. The clearance of the gears is 0.125 inches. Each half of the housing has a flange of 0.125 inches used to bolt the two halves together, resolving in a quarter inch thick thickness of the mating parts. The smallest clearance between the inside components and the housing is 0 0.0625 inches. This clearance is between the housing and the input and output shafts. And because the deflection on the shafts are so small, this is of little concern. The bearings are press fit into the housing. The housing also shields the entire gearing and bearing assembly from any debris such as plaster dust. We chose to use metric bolts to seal the housing because of where this device will be used. The bolts are 4 mm diameter by 0.7 mm pitch by 13 mm length. The bolts are threaded throughout. The bolts fit into a steel sleeve that is inserted into the plastic housing. This steel sleeve helps carry some of the load of the bolts and prevents the plastic from becoming distorted under the preload. The preload for these bolts is 1,225 pounds and the torque is 29 inch pounds.